What's new crew? Welcome to day four of our 12 days of Christmas series and today I'm showing you guys a what's for dinner video and two weeks ago I posted a what's for dinner video and I included this pot pie and I didn't show you guys how I made it and so many people asked for how I made that recipe so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys in this video right in the beginning how we made that pot pie. This was a couple days after Thanksgiving and I had a ton of leftover turkey so we ended up cutting up the turkey, we threw in peas and carrots, we just get ours in a frozen bag, throw them in the microwave, and then we throw them in a bowl with some cream of chicken, but if you had leftover turkey gravy, you could use that too. So I'm going to go ahead and take these pie crusts and just line my pan, and Joe here was helping me this night, he's mixing together those peas, those carrots, the turkey, and the cream of chicken soup, and he's just going to pour it right on top of the uncooked pie crust. And then what all we're going to do is pop off that pie crust and in one box you do get two pie crusts so you only need one box for this. But while he's pouring that up I'm just going to go ahead and get that pie crust ready to throw right on top. And this was so good with the leftover turkey you guys. I can't even. We actually end up, ended up making two this night and we put one in the freezer for after baby boys do. You guys can see here I'm getting pretty big. At the recording of uh, me doing this voiceover I'm 35 weeks but I had some leftover pie crust you can see on the sides and all I'm doing is folding them over but you could totally cut them off, trim them, trim them off if you wanted to um, and then I'm just going to cut in some vent holes. I'll show you guys what that looks like here just so the pie can vent out a little bit while it's cooking. And this is what it looks like when it's done. You just have to follow the recipe for your pie crusts. Today for supper we're having Spanish rice. I make mine. I don't want to say from scratch because this is the simplest thing ever. It's literally just ground turkey, tomato juice, rice, and a packet of chili seasoning. That's all that's in here. And then we eat ours with chips. We eat this more like a dip. Um, so we eat ours with tortilla chips or Doritos. It's just delicious. And then I have... I have a bag of California medley in the microwave right now. It's got a couple more minutes left, but I'll show you what my plate ends up looking like. But we eat ours with cheese, of course. We're from Wisconsin. Everything has to be eaten with cheese. But this is the simplest, cheapest recipe. And you can stretch it so far. I even had leftover rice in my fridge that I threw in here, and then I just cooked another, like, two cups of fresh rice and I'd say probably half a pound of ground turkey. And then just a little bit of tomato juice. I had a little bit of this one left in the fridge and then we opened this one up. But I hope raw meat doesn't gross you guys out. But this is how much meat I ended up using. This is a two pound. This is two, this package is two pounds. So I used probably half a pound or so of this ground turkey. And I'm just gonna section the rest of this off and put it in the freezer. My chili seasoning here, but that's literally it. And then of course our cheese to go on top. These are the girls plates I have in front of me. But <coughs> this is the Spanish rice with just some Colby Jack cheese on top. They're um, veggie. We try to do a veggie with every meal. It's just something that like my, my parents did and Joe's parents did. So we try to do that with supper. Um, at least supper to have a vegetable. And then this, this is their chips. Um, and the kids really like this meal because they think it's cool that they get to eat chi chips with supper. But sometimes we'll do fresh bread to kind of sop in it. But we're going to do chips tonight because that's what we have. Alright, so this night we ended up having fajitas. I just threw in my crock pot two chicken breasts, one bell pepper, and one onion, and then a package of fajita mix. And I let that cook on high for about four hours and that was dinner that night it was super easy super simple and a really cheap meal too if you need something kind of cheap um this would be a really good meal and of course i topped mine with some cheese and some sour cream really delicious on a cold winter's night that was so deep no all right, so this night I ended up making one of those family packets of the Lindor sides. We really like those just for convenience. They're super nice. And we paired ours with some baked fish and baked cauliflower. I have this fish recipe up on my channel. I can link that for you guys if you're interested. But this is a super easy, quick meal. Um, little effort, and at 35 weeks, I'm really enjoying meals like that. But everybody really likes this meal, even the roasted cauliflower. Uh, one of our favorites for sure. 
and to the earth. This was the day before Thanksgiving and we ended up just doing sausage, hash browns, and some pancakes for a really easy breakfast to dinner this night before a long day of cooking started. I hope you guys are enjoying the 12 Days of Christmas series. The rest of my 12 Days of Christmas playlist will be linked down below. Go ahead and check that out if you're interested. And I will see you guys tomorrow for day five. Bye.